Hello again, everybody. What I'm hoping to do today is to kind of lay down the foundation and make the first introduction video of a series I'm starting on my channel, which is on the materials of backpacking. I know when I first got into backpacking and started camping and stuff like that, there was just an overwhelming amount of all different sorts of materials that all of the different manufacturers used. And especially in the DIY world, there's so many different choices to make. So what I wanted to do was make a series of videos on all of these different materials and kind of highlight. First off, I want to introduce the material. And I'm thinking a single video for each type of material. And then I want to highlight what the material might be used in. Like say aluminum can be used in trekking poles, can be used in stakes, tent poles, stuff like that. And then I want to highlight the pros and cons of the material what it should be used for, what it shouldn't be used for, and then maybe throw in some tips or any other ideas I have about the material. And I want to do that for all of these different types of materials that you find in backpacking, make kind of a comprehensive encyclopedia of all these materials for people to use in the future when they're making gear choices, when they're making DIY choices, stuff like that. And so in order to do this, I've kind of divided all of the different materials you'll find into four main categories and that is materials that are waterproof meant to be waterproof materials that are breathable and that can be I mean there are yes there are some waterproof materials that claim to be breathable but really they aren't very breathable so I'm just drawing a line separating them materials that are meant to be waterproof materials that are meant to be breathable and then I have a category for metal materials and composite materials like aluminum, titanium, so on. And then one final category for insulation. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of give you a really broad picture and there's going to be lots of materials I'm missing. This is going to be a growing project, kind of learn as I go type of thing. And what I'd like you to do maybe is leave some comments on materials you would like to see covered through the series and I'll try to get to the mo the more popular ones as I go but uh, anyways so in the waterproof category obviously Gore-Tex is one of the front runners here of waterproof materials so I'm gonna do some Gore-Tex some sil nylon this is a rain kilt that I made made out of sil, sil nylon material I'll be covering that uh, there's all sorts of other ones. Event is like a new version of Gore-Tex. Tyvek, like you see here, really well-worn Tyvek. Tyvek Cuban fiber. I don't have a sample of Cuban fiber, but I hope I hope to get one eventually and get to that. And then there's all sorts of different specific ones like Pertex Shield and so on and so on. So those are waterproof. There's more, and I'm sure I'll be covering more than just what's listed here, but this is a kind of my starting point for all of these different materials. In the breathable materials we have ripstop nylon kind of like you would see on the this jacket here although it's a little hard to see with this camera. There's all sorts of different propri proprietary materials like M50, M60. This pillow here is made from M90 material from thruhiker.com. So I'll be trying to cover all of these different materials despite how many there are. <laughs> and just to go down the list here, got Capilene, Patagonia's material, Pertex, polyester. This is just a general polyester shirt here. I'll be trying to cover that. Wool. Wool is another one I'll be covering. Mostly merino wool, but I'll go into details when I actually make the video. These are merino wool socks. Nylon, Argon is a material here that I got from Dutch at Dutch Wear Gear and it's a, just a really lightweight calendared material for downed goods and so on and so on. In the metals category at least initially I'm hoping to cover titanium like this titanium pot here, aluminum, aluminum tent poles, aluminum tent stakes, these trekking poles are aluminum and uh, carbon fiber I really I don't have any carbon fiber gear really except this belt buckle is carbon fiber I think that's about the only thing I have that is but 
I'll see what I can do with carbon fiber. I know a lot of the higher end tent poles are carbon fiber and some of the other gear, some of the trekking poles. And in the metals category, I also include mylar, like uh, you would see in a space blanket. And those are, that can be a good material for certain applications. And then the final category here is insulation. And that is, it can be anything from down, like you would have in this down jacket here. Can't really see the down, but it's on there, in there in the inside. And synthetic insulation. This pillow actually has some synthetic insulation, but that can refer to anything from proprietary ones like the uh, Prima Loft is one of them, and there's countless other ones. I'll try to go into those as I make the series. And then I've also included down here a separate category within insulation for sleeping pads because that is another form of insulation that's a little bit different than your typical down jacket, down sleeping bag type of insulation. And those can be foam. They can actually have down in them, as a lot of them do. They can have mylar in them, like the uh, the Thermarest pads. The Neoairs actually have a little cross hatching of mylar throughout the, uh, I think it's mylar, throughout the sleeping pad that helps reflect some of your heat and actually increase the R value of the pads. So that's a different type of insulation I'll be going into. So that is pretty much the gist of what I'm hoping to do. I'm not sure where I'll start with this. Maybe based on what you guys submit to the comments, that's where I'll go first. But yeah, I really just want to make it easy to choose what materials you're going to be taking into the backcountry with you. So I hope you're excited about the series. I know I am. It should be pretty fun. And I'll see you later.